That's me and you. He's like, Andy, great news, da 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 da. And I say, hey man, I appreciate it, but I need to think about it, go. We get off the test drive, there's the building, okay? We're outside of the car, I want you to hit me in the trial clothes, ask me to buy the car. And do we really wanna get into this on the phone? Okay, but we're getting into it. But I wanna to explain to you how 100% of the time I can overcome this. Wait, let me get my head straight, I need a drink of water, it's been days I've had a headache. Don't wanna wake up one day, feel like I regret things. Person from the Morgan Group, come on. Get up here, come on. Get up here. All right, guys, so here's what I'm going to do. Number one, it doesn't matter. Guys, does success favor the prepared? Yes. Hey, hey, guys, listen to me. Some of you guys ain't going to participate today. Now, I get how it goes. This may be your first event, your first learning deal. You're like, dude, I suck. I'm just going to sit back and listen. Hey, I used to suck, and I used to sit back and listen. But I want to tell you this. If you want to really grow today, you're going to need to lean in. You guys feel me? You're going to need to lean in. Hey, guys, listen to me. Number one, I don't judge any of you. Guys, can I mess up here on stage? Yeah, what's it cost me? Nothing. Come on, man. You know what it costs you not to lean in, not to dive into your self-development? Cost you everything. Look, I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna make a simple deal. I wanna show you something. So let's say you're in the automotive space. Okay, I'm just gonna use this for an example. I know for a fact I made about 800K my best year selling cars. So I'm gonna give you a point. Okay, Tommy, how long have you been selling for? Okay, Tommy, you've been selling for two weeks. Tommy, you see this? See that? That's possible, okay? Now listen to me. There's good, great, and unstoppable. Tommy's going to have to be unstoppable. Okay? Like he's going to have to be unstoppable. Is Tommy going to have to be charismatic? Is Tommy going to have to have a belief like no one else in the world? Yeah? Is Tommy going to have to work hard? Yeah? Is Tommy going to have to commit in a world where commitment, there's a massive shortage of it? Yeah? Okay, is Tommy going to have to stay away from the losers? Yeah, how, how old is Tommy? He looks young, right? Is Tommy going to need to hang, hang out with older people who are doing well, Absolutely. right? Or hang out with the young loser kids? Hey, hey, listen to me. Listen to me. Look, if you want to know, I'm going to share a 30-second story with you. When I started and I was 18, okay, I went into the dealership and I noticed all the other guys that were 25 and younger and they weren't making all the money and they weren't the top guy that was selling 50 cars a month. I noticed that they were like all doing their thing. And I went over to the 50 car guy and I said, hey, what's going on, man? Hey, can you like recommend a book or a course or a seminar or anything? You tell me, I wanna be just like you. Okay, can you tell me something? He goes, hey, go read this book. Okay, what I do? Yeah, but most of you don't go read the book. You ask information. It's kind of like somebody walks up and they say, Andy, how'd you make 700 grand a year selling cars or 800 grand? I say, do you really want to know or are you just asking? Because a lot of people are just asking. Like they want to know, but they really don't want to know because they're not going to do anything. You know what I did? I went, I read the book that he gave me, and then I went back to him when I was done with the spiral notebook of all the notes that I learned. And I said, man, dude, thank you so much. Look, I filled up the spiral notebook taking notes. I opened the inside of the book. I showed him all the notes. I highlighted it, underlined it, read the whole book A to Z. I used it as a workbook. You know what he told me? He goes, dude, nobody's ever done that before. He goes, you know what? Go get this course, okay? It was more than I wanted to pay. Guys, everybody say, what's it gonna cost? Hey, more than you wanna pay. You want a big ass life? Believe you're worth it, pay whatever it takes. I promise you, I'm gonna explain why here in a minute. So I went and took that course. I went to that seminar and I kept reporting back. Every time, guys, I'm gonna explain how a high achiever works. You don't report back, they forget about you. Once I started coming back to him and telling him, you know what he found? He found interest in me. Like it was crazy, man. It was like, there was a time, and I remember this, they said, his name was John. He said, hey, Johnny, you got a customer here. Johnny goes, yeah, go ahead and give it to Eddie over there. I wanna, I wanna talk to Andy for a minute. This guy started giving up his own time and money to spend time with me. He'd never seen anybody coachable in this life. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, and I'm gonna tell you, most of you in here, You'll learn today, but you'll go home and you won't learn anymore. You're gonna go right back to work. And the sad thing is, is that if you run a dealership, if your dealership's making 10 million a year, it's sad it could be making 100 million. And you say, well, Andy, shut your mouth. How many cars do you think get delivered in your area a month? Quit thinking so small. See, you see the pie and you're like, well, um, the, the zone says we should get shut. Screw the zone. F the zone. 
You think I give a shit about the zone? I want all that. If I sell cars and they buy them, I'm going to sell them all. Why would they buy anywhere else? How can we justify what the zone says? The zone's a bunch of losers. I got people not even hitting the freaking zone numbers. How embarrassing is that? Who's in charge? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments. Tell me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now. 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Okay? Dude, literally, I'm going to break it wide open so they don't even show me this shit. They'll quit sending my, my company reports because they know we don't look at them anyways, because we don't believe like they believe. I'm not sharing the market share. You wanna know how to win it? Human capital. Every single person that comes in that company, how do they get onboarded? How do they get greeted? What's the love they feel? What's the excitement like? Can't you feel winning in the atmosphere? Yeah. This is a game that's so easy to win, but no one out there is gonna run this way. So you're in here going to have to make the decision and then go back out there and be relentless. And by the way, you say, well, well we don't have the right people. Our people get mad when you get excited. Get rid of them. There's 8 million, 8 billion people in this world. <laughs> if I lived in Orlando, I'm just giving an example, and, and there was like, 300,000 people there, I'm just using silly numbers, and I needed a store with 15 sales reps, <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know, man, it's so hard to find good people. It's hard to find good leaders. That's the freaking problem. I can walk into any store and recruit everybody right away. Every time somebody comes and meet me, you know what they say? Hey, let's take a picture together. Dude, I'm gonna work for you one day. Listen to me. Who needs to be their influencer? What did I tell you it is? It's 2023, it's the age of the influencer, okay? Is your team and your store wanting to be like you or are they wanting to be like the people on social media? How in the hell did I get 150 million views? I hope that I help bring excitement to some of your team, but I still pray to God that you're their leader. You're their mentor. If they choose me and they can't see me over you that they see every day, that would be like my coach choosing a guy on Instagram over me that he sees every day. Dude, this is the problem. So I want all of this. F the zone. I'm sick of people telling me what I can have. They said when we started our sales training company, they said, dude, you guys will be lucky to make it. Yeah. We smashed everybody's ass. I've got the top influencer. I remember when I started, there was a guy named Andy Frazella, Ed Milet, Eric Thomas, David Goggins. There was, you know, Gary Vee. There was all these guys that we looked up to. You know what I did? I studied every one of them and I learned their shit better than them. Every one of them. I paid whatever it took to get close to them. Guy named Patrick Bed David lives in Florida. Reached out and said, hey man, how much it cost to train? He's like 250 grand, done, wired the money. I don't give a shit. No, no, you just do it. You don't, even, you don't even ask. You just do it. You know why? Because I'm going after a big life, and so are you guys. Everybody in this room right now, listen to me. I might not be right for you. After you guys train with me for a day, you might say, honestly, dude, like, I'm not trying to do all that. It's cool. You're letting your family down. You're letting your kids down. Don't be giving your kids that pep talk. You can do whatever you want when you don't go all in. Don't give them that pep talk. Don't eat, just save it. Send them to me because I'm doing it. And by the way, they'll find someone else because they know you're not doing it, okay? This is a time right now where we have some truth bombs. We look in the mirror. So what I want you guys to do when you walk out of here is I want you to have a blueprint how to, how to crush everybody's ass. Number one, out care everybody. From now on in your company, you tell people, we will treat everybody with the most love, the most fire, the most energy, we will onboard people who aren't buying, who are going to service. And people, li listen to me, look for eye rolls. Look for eye rolls. Okay, if they're like, oh, you're out, bye. You're out, love you, have a blessed day. Appreciate you, man. Point them to Excellence Cross Street, go. All right, for the rest of you guys. All right, Johnny's out. Johnny sold 48 cars, don't care. You think our store's gonna miss those 48 deals? Now they just go to you guys. Johnny wasn't that great, I'm just being honest with you guys. Okay, Johnny don't want to learn no more. You guys want to learn? Yeah. They're like, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, okay, cool, who's with me? All right, who's with me? All right, now what are we going to do? 
We're going to onboard everybody that comes in here with love. Another guy goes, you're out. Mike. Bye, Mike. Mike's your top guy. Not no more. He's going to go across the street. Don't care. Don't care. I'm going to go hire some kid down at the cell phone store with a good attitude, energy that's full of love, and I'm going to bring him on. I'm going to train his ass. You know what I know? Time and experience doesn't mean nothing. Some of you guys need to understand, you've got a showroom full for, or a company full of veterans that are sinking your company. Hey, hey, I'm not, I, I, veterans, I love you. I'm a veteran. Veterans should be the leaders. Do you know what an alpha leader is? An alpha leader is somebody that does more for other people than they do for themselves, and they also continue to crush the bar monthly. You know what that means? I'm the leader in my company. You know what that means? I put up more revenue than anybody else in my company because I have to because I want them to continue to chase me. Also, I show them love all month long. Even though I may be better, I talk to them like they're better. They said, I've met my manager. I can tell he's important. I met the leader. I can feel I'm important. The leader will make your people feel like they're in the right place. They're super important. And they'll never leave you. That's why you hear me get on stage. I'll say, if you can recruit somebody off my team, I'll give you 10 million cash. 10 million. Somebody call the Elliott Group. Somebody try to recruit Evan Macklin right now. When we're done. No, he doesn't care. You know why? Because he doesn't work for money. No, he doesn't work for money. He doesn't work for money. When you become a great enough leader, people will stop working for money for you. They'll work for you for blood, sweat, and tears, and they'll believe, they'll believe in the mission. And once they're bought in on the mission, it rains money. Because now your company literally annihilates, dissolves, and destroys all the other people. You're not competing anymore. I finally got to a point in my life where I understand that I'm finally not competing anymore. We have finally become a different breed. A different breed in which we know our competition can't become. Why? They won't suffer enough together. They won't not talk shit on each other. They won't train enough. So you guys want to sell and close everybody? Okay. We've got to change who we are inside. Now we're going to get to skill acquisition. I've got one, two, three, four. I've got four automotive people in front of me, right? Now, you've been doing this for two weeks, okay? Yes, sir. You've been doing this for how long? Two and a half years. Two and a half years? 30 years. Okay, 30 years. Seven. Seven years? Okay, we're going to have some fun. Is that cool? Okay, now, number one, come here. Come here. Okay, you've been doing this for two weeks. Have you went outside and talked to somebody yet? Yes, sir, absolutely. Yes, sir, absolutely. Okay, do you know what a trial close is? Absolutely. Okay, cool. You ready? Absolutely. We, now, listen, I just, they're, they're your customers, okay? So I want you to talk to them, but I'm going to hit you with the objection, okay? Okay, we get off the test drive. 2019 Toyota Corolla, we go on a test drive. We get off the test drive, there's the building, okay? We're outside of the car, I want you to hit me in the trial close, ask me to buy the car. All right, no problem. So sir, uh, if numbers worked out today, would this car be the one that you would be willing to drive? Man, I really appreciate it. I like the car, but I need to think about it. That's no problem, I understand it. You probably have not enough information to think about it yet. So what I, like, what I would like to do is present you some numbers. Then at that point, you at least have something to go home, take it to the wife, and think about. What I want you to do real quick while we're driving back into the dealership is pull in a sold spot so that nobody else has the opportunity to show this car while I'm presenting you numbers. And if you like the numbers enough, I would love to give you an opportunity to potentially drive this okay, car. Okay, stop. So now listen, I'm going to teach him a lesson. He did good, but now he's overselling. I want to tell you what he, what he did. He said, hey, if I could get the deal right, would you be happy to take it home? I said, I need to think about it. And then he says, of course you need to think about it. He agrees with me. It's what he should have done. Hey, of course, yeah, he knows the video, but he went too long. He oversold. He said, guys, of course you need to think about it. I haven't given you enough information not to think about it. What I'd like to do is give you a quick five-minute proposal of all the numbers so at least when you go home, you truly have something to think about. Would that be fair? That sounds good, sir. Okay, take his hand, stick it in my chest. But he didn't stick it in my chest, he continued to sell. He's been in it for two weeks, he did a good job. I can tell that you're training, good job. Okay, all right. Yeah, hey, that kid's gonna be a killer, okay? And by the way, he's on. Two weeks in, he's already doing the training, all right. So here we go, I'm gonna hit you with an objection, okay? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so he's been doing this two and a half years. This is gonna be, I go on a test drive, right? I get, off the, I, get off, I get off the test drive, I'm in front of the building. Okay, a trial close is where you ask somebody to buy the car. He's gonna ask me to buy the car and I'm gonna hit him with an objection. You guys cool? Yeah. Okay, here we go. So, so ask me to buy the car. So after driving the vehicle, works for your wants and needs. If we could get the numbers and terms agreeable, you believe we could earn your business today? Yeah, hey, I really appreciate it. Thanks for showing me the car, but I've got two other ones I wanna go look at before I make a decision. Completely understand. What type of vehicles were you looking at? 
Same kind of car. They're just down the road. You're the closest to me, so I came and saw you first. Perfect. So I've been in the business a little bit of time. What I've noticed when it comes to other automotive dealerships in the entire industry in and of itself, price-wise, we're a top 20 Kia dealership in the country. We can pretty much do anything price-wise anybody else can do. I think you may have come in under a misconception today. You might have come in saying, I'm going to look at a few cars, I'm going to buy a few cars, potentially. What I always say, I'm not here to sell you a car. I'm here to build a relationship. I don't want to sell you just this car. I want to make sure you, your friends, your family, anyone down the road that's going to get into a vehicle has someone they know they can go to. I've been to a lot of other dealerships. The cars are the same. There's nothing special about that, and I'm sure you know that. Ultimately, what I do know is I'm not there. Right now, you're not buying a vehicle, sir. You're building a relationship that's going to last you, your friends, and family a lifetime. Let's go inside, continue to solidify this relationship, and we'll show you numbers that you wouldn't believe. Okay, now listen, here's what I want you to do. Number one, I want you to give it up for him because he's up here doing a good job. Okay, now I'm gonna ask him a question, okay? If I asked him to do it again, could you do it the exact same way you just did it? Absolutely. Same words? Yeah. Okay, I got a couple more cars I wanna go look at. Okay, sir, that's perfectly fine, I completely understand. What I've noticed being in the automotive industry and being in dealerships for a little bit of time now, is I notice that a lot of people tend to go buy a few cars and they come in under a They go tend dimension. to buy a few cars. Or they tend to buy a car. Or okay, so here's cars. what we wanna do, listen to me. Here's what I want you to do. I'm gonna take, that was way too long. Okay, that was way too long. And by the way, we know you're gonna build a relationship, but sometimes you need to tell them, like, I'm different, right? But at the end of the day, we need to overcome the objection. Would you agree? Okay, I want you to do me a favor. Everybody say future expectations. I'm gonna teach you guys a close really quick that works really well. By the way, he did what's called the push through close. Okay, you know what that means? That means I say I got more cars to go look at and he's just gonna keep talking until he pushes through and takes me inside. Right, does that make sense? Okay, but listen to me. I'm gonna tell you when I'm listening to the words, he's not sharp like a sniper. He's a machine gun sprayer. He's just throwing words out until something sticks and hopefully he can have enough enthusiasm to push me through and pressure to push me back inside. Does that make sense? Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys some word tracks. Remember, word tracks are dangerous. By the way, if you wanna be a good leader and you wanna teach your team, you do have to teach your, your team word tracks. You know, Brett, if I hired this, this Tommy guy right now, I wouldn't want him to learn what he just learned. And I'm not saying it badly, I would want him to learn a word track that he could say that would advance the sale forward. Notice we're outside on the lot right now. We're not inside, are we? No, we wanna go inside. When people see those double set of doors, you know what they do? They remember the last time they went in them, they bought something, you know what they start doing? They start giving objections. They don't wanna go in them. Because they know what's gonna happen. We're gonna work a deal, there's a manager inside, there's a couple good managers in there, and they're ready to attack. They wanna get the keys to your trade. So what do they do? They say, ah, I appreciate it. You know, when you think about it, you gotta talk to my wife, I got a couple more cars to look at, and they wanna try to split, okay? So what I would play is I'm play a game called Future Expectations. I'd say I totally understand. I'd say hypothetically. Brett, let's say you'd already gone and seen all the other vehicles. I don't care if there's two of them or 10 of them. Let's say you drove them all. And then let's act like mine was the last one you went and looked at, this beautiful 2019 Toyota Corolla. Brett, let me ask you a question. After seeing every single vehicle, all of them, in the end, what would be the deciding factor on which one you'd probably end up buying? Would it be the car itself, regardless of the deal? Or would it be the great deal the dealership was willing to give you? Which one? The deal. Cool, so it's not a matter of if you're gonna buy, it's when, and the win's when the deal's right, right? Cool, so if I could save you some time and money, would that offend you in any way? Would you be upset with me at all? Thank goodness. Boom, inside. You guys see? What did I do? Okay, hypothetically, let's say you already gone and seen all the other vehicles. Mine was the last one you looked at. You ever seen all the vehicles? In the end, what would be the deciding factor on which one? I'm a sniper, I'm a machine. I'm a machine. What I want you guys to understand is this. I learned when I was younger, I was a professional machine gun sprayer. I literally threw words out at people until somebody would eventually do something. But here's what I'm gonna tell you. There were a lot of things that he said that I didn't give him a hard time for because I know he's up here giving his best, but that didn't make sense that he said. There were a lot of things that were unneeded. You're not buying a car today, you're getting a relationship. I'm like, dude, I am buying a car today. Okay, like listen to me. You didn't leave your driveway, sir, not only to buy a car. I'm sure you went to buy a car, but also buy it from a reputable place that would be close to you from this day forward and take care of everything you need. Would you agree? See, now that shit's making sense to me. He needs to learn to frame, to frame his clients to think a certain way. And if you can't use your words right, you can't frame somebody to say yes. By the way, everybody understand this. Everything that I will do today to you to a sell to everybody will always be framing. Everything in sales is about framing people to, to receive what you're telling them, the way you frame them. Am I right? Okay. Hey, good job. Good job. You did a good job. I want him. 
Okay. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now. 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. All right. Hey, I know he's a little killer. Okay. So here's what I want to do. I'm going to go hit him. Remember I hit him with, I need to think about it on the lot. I want to hit him with, I need to think about it on the inside. Is that cool? Okay. So, you know, when you have the numbers on a piece of paper, it says five ninety nine a month, thousand down, you know what I'm saying? It's like price is 29, nine, 7,000 for the trade. Does that make sense? A little piece of paper sitting here. That's me and you. He's like, Andy, great news. Da, 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 da. And I say, Hey man, I appreciate it, but I need to think about it. Go. Well, I understand, Mr. Elliot. Thank you so much for allowing us to opportunity for you to think about it today. But my question to you is, sir, what made you come to Toyota Hollywood? Uh, I just I saw the vehicle. I went and checked it out, and okay. I drove it. So what type of vehicle were we seeing? This X, Y, and Z car. All right. Well, normally the reason why people buy Toyota, sir, is because they're very re reliable cars. They're increased on resale values or whatnot. This is real. This is no, no, no. You're good. Hey, don't ever let anybody else take up, take up space in your head, okay? You feel me? Yeah. You know what you know. I'm not asking you to make some, something up. I just want to know what you know. Okay. You see, here's what I want you to know. What would you say when they say that? See, this is what I want us to learn. Like, like what would we say when, see, when you, when you tell me to think about it, I'm going to shut his ass down right now. Like, I don't need to walk through this. I'm, I'm a sniper. I'm ready. My words count. Okay? All right? So, and, and by the way, listen, this is why we train. We don't train to embarrass you. You came up here, man. You got courage. You're not a coward. You got courage, okay? So let's roll. So I just said, hey, I appreciate it. Thanks for showing me the numbers, okay? But I need to think about it. Go. All right, great. So if you wouldn't think about anything, would it be the numbers or the vehicle? I mean, I don't know. I don't know, probably numbers. Sorry? Numbers? Yes, so if I was able to work out a better figure would for you, would we be able to earn your business today? Yeah, but I want to go home and think about it. So what would you think about? Would you think about the price or the car? I mean, okay, okay, listen to me. Stop. Here's what I want you to do. Number one, number one, believe in yourself. Yeah. Okay, listen, whether we're in an office working a deal or we're here on stage, does it really matter? When your back's against the wall, you'll always fall to your lowest level of skill. Okay, if you're in the military, you have to learn how to take a gun apart in the dark, blindfolded. We need to start treating our businesses and sales like this. If I hang him upside down, I waterboard his ass and I'm slapping him around, I could hit him. What's your name? What's your, what's your last name? What's your date of birth? See, see, he knows this stuff. But once I start hitting him with, I need to think about it, we ain't trained enough on this. Does that make sense? If he says, I need to think about it, I'll say, hey, I totally understand. Number one, I've been doing this for a long time, okay? When someone says they need to think about it, what I've learned is either one or two things. Number one, you're no longer interested in the vehicle. <laughs> but I don't think that's it, because we wouldn't have made it this far if you didn't like the vehicle. Am I right? Aiden, so I know we found the right car. So it leads me to believe it's got to be the, the number two, which is something's concerning you, Aiden, within the numbers of the deal. What is it that's currently concerning you the most? Is it the price? Is it the payment? Or is it the trade-in? Which one? Uh, the payment. Okay, what am I going to do? Take him to a payment close. Okay, listen to me. Can anybody in here overcome? I need to think about it. Doesn't even make sense. Think about what? But I don't want to say, think about what? <laughs> Because then all I'm going to do is drive his ass down the hole. Does that make sense? What is our goal to? Bring him out of the hole. Bring him back to the deal. Everybody say, bring him back to the deal. Bring him back to the deal. Can I close him on a payment right now? Yes. I can close him on any payment that I want right now. See this pen? See this, see this whiteboard? I can close him on any payment that I want. I can money justification close him any way, shape, or form on a payment. But you know what I know? I know that I'm not to the payment point yet because I need him to go back to the deal. That's why I said, what's concerning you the most? Is it the price, the payment, or the trade-in? Which one? And I put my pen to the piece of paper, and I'm pointing at each one of them. I'm looking them in the eyes, and I'm telling them it's okay to let me know. Which one is it? That one? Okay, cool. Let me show how affordable your new vehicle is. Flip that thing over. I'm going to get next to them. I'm going to get knee to knee. I'm going to put my arm around them, and I'm going to close them. Okay? By the way, payment closes is a whole different deal, but handling I need to think about it is what closers do. Okay? Because you can't close I need to think about it. Now we can advance the sell forward like he did earlier, but now's the time to close it. I can close it by going back to the deal. Okay, you did a good job, but here's what I want you to do. Everybody understand this. If you really want to make big money, you need to know what you need to say at the time you need to say it. And by the way, you need to know five different ways to close it. 
You really want to be unstoppable. It's a method I call five by five. If you're in my training system, I've got five different ways to overcome every single objection you get. If you ask me to personally coach you one-on-one, -on -one, I'd sit down and I'd say, hey, what are the top five objections you get in your industry? As soon as you told me, by the way, I'd only try, I wouldn't only train you on objections, I would teach you how to speak too. But before we would do that, we'd write down the top five objections and we would come up five different ways to handle all five of those. And that right there would automatically put you way ahead of everybody else. Okay, hey, good job, good job. I want him, I want him. Hey, all right, here we go. Hey, all right, listen, hey, I'm gonna hit him with the phone objection, all right? All right, you ready? So here we go, I'm gonna hit him with the phone objection. All right, because we're on automotive, we'll move around. This is gonna be a phone objection. Now, here's the deal. I enter a credit application, okay, on a vehicle, 2018 Dodge Ram. I enter a credit application, I'm a client. And he calls me, he's like, hey Andy, great news, I got a way to go. Now, did I enter a credit application? Yeah, he's got my credit, I'm seeing if I can get approved for it. Okay, now I want you to call me, because let's say you looked at the credit, you got a way to go, I want you to call me, and I just want to hear some of that language. You ready? Ring, ring. I answer, this is Andy. Hey Andy, how you doing? It's Roger over at BMW Tampa, how are you? Roger, what's going on, buddy? I got some great news. That 2018 Ram that you were looking at? Yes, sir. Well, we just had that traded in. A customer came in on a BMW, took care of that vehicle, one owner vehicle. I got a clean fax on it. We got both keys. It's an amazing vehicle. I see you had some interest. Just want to find out if uh, 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock works better for you so we can put a deal together. Roger, you're the man. I'm grateful for you. Hey, by the way, Roger, what's my payment going to be? Uh, your payment's going to vary depending on what kind of down payment, what kind of, you know, uh, how you want to set it up. Uh, I've seen payments. You can be as low as 400 a month or you could be, you know, higher depending upon. What, what, what you want to put down as far as your down payment. So we can work all that out. Yeah, I'm really not wanting to put any money down. Can you give me an idea? You know, at that, at that point right there, we had to credit up? Yep. Yeah, I can definitely give you an idea. I can give you an idea of payment. So give me an idea of what term. Are you looking for 66 months, 72, 84? I can give you a whole bunch of different options. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I want to ask you guys a question. Do we really want to get into this on the phone? No. Okay, no. but we're getting into it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so I want to teach you a word track in which you'll never have to get into it. By the way, listen to me, I'm gonna explain this to you. In every industry, I'll roll with you guys today. But I wanna to explain to you how 100% of the time I can overcome this. And I need you to understand this. Once I start saying, depend on what kind of down payment, how long you wanna finance it, all that, right now what I'm doing is that I'm opening the case of numbers to be worked on the phone. Does that make sense? Okay, do me a favor. Everybody say, no big deal. No big deal. When people hit you with an objection, it's no big deal. All they do is got a little bit of concern. Okay, so who needs to have certainty? you. Now's the time. Listen to me. If you don't want someone to look in the room, don't crack the door. We're cracking the door. Remember this. I tell you this, and I know he's been doing this for a long time, and I know that he leads a team, so pulling him up here and him having the, the courage to get up here, there's a lot of leaders that aren't sharp on this stuff, so I love this. I always say something. The winners in the room will always run to pressure. They'll always be the first person to run in the middle of a deal to see if they can handle it. You know why? Because they don't care. And I love that. That's, that's called courage. Well, Andy, it's no big deal. In fact, I got five trucks waiting for you when you come down. And my friend John runs a Ferragamo store. We can help you out with that. Yeah. Okay. You guys ready for a word track? Yes. Okay. Everybody say, I'm so glad you asked that. When somebody says, hey, what's your best price? We're not going to go, oh, well, I didn't. we're going to say, so glad you asked that. You know why? It's no big deal. It's no big deal. I need you guys to understand what you're going to say before the, the time even comes to say it. And I need you to be dangerous to saying it. So when he says, hey, Andy, what's my payment going to say, be? I'm going to say, I'm so glad you asked that. Now, listen to me. I don't want you to write it down yet. This is easy. I'm so glad you asked that. Our licensed finance department, Roger, uses a very strict budgeting system that ensures that, listen, Roger, you don't ever have to worry about your payment being too high. As a matter of fact, most of our customers that had the same concern as you in the past actually left with the much lower payment than they were expecting. Getting to know you here on the phone, Roger, we're phenomenal in that area. You don't have to have any concern. What time can you make it in? Can you come in right now or would after work be best? You guys hear that? Did I show any concern? Did I make sure that I made sure that he felt certain that if he did come in, that he wouldn't have to worry about it? What did I say? I said, I'm so glad you asked that. I said, our licensed finance department uses a very strict budgeting system that ensures that you don't ever have to worry about your payment being too high. You think a car dealership can give a customer a payment higher than they can afford anyways? No, they can't. There's got to be some guidelines. So I said, I'm so glad you asked that. Our licensed finance department uses a very strict budgeting system that ensures you never have to worry about your payment being too high. As a matter of fact, and I love saying that because I'm reassuring him, as a matter of fact, most of our clients that had the same concern as you in the past, I'm third party closing him now, they actually left, those people actually left with a much lower payment than they were expecting. 
Getting to know you here on the phone. We're phenomenal in that area. You don't have to have anything to worry about. What time can you make it in? Right now or would after work be best? You guys like it? But do you guys like that word track? Okay, now listen to me. How do I know that? Because I learned it. You know what I know? I'm gonna tell you a secret. 99% of people who have a sales job in this room started their job and after a year stopped learning. And this is why they never make any more money. I see them go up 20 grand, go down 20 grand. Go up 50 grand, go down 50 grand. Do you guys understand we're in sales? I mean, I mean I'm asking, do you guys really understand? Do you know that you can leverage sales by the hundreds of thousands game, by the millions game? Do you understand that? You don't understand it because if you did, you'd be the top 1% in the industry and everybody would know your name. We do? Where? Right here? No. Come on, man. Hey, let's do, let's go 20 push-ups. Guys, we're going to do them with them. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go, guys. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. There we go. Hey, guys. So I want to do one thing. Hey. Hey guys, a lot of the times, a lot of the times when we're learning stuff, honestly, like your brain is going to get tired. Am I right? You know why? Because you're using it. Yeah. Like dude, when you're watching, like when you're watching TV, I watch some of you guys, you watch social media, you don't get tired at all. Nope. You know what I see? Hours. This is so crazy. I watch people hang out with their family and not laugh at all. Serious as can be. And then I watch people go to work, serious as can be. And I watch them turn on social media. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, that's their life. They're like, dude, that's, you know, that's fake shit, right? Like, you know, that's not, I mean, like, that's, like, that's not even your life, right? Like, you're watching other people live and you get more excited than living your own life. Isn't that crazy? That's why whenever you guys are in here training, going to another level, a lot of the times you guys will get tired because it's been a while since you've learned anything. I want to tell you something. Once you get addicted to learning and you understand the benefits from it, you guys will become the most dangerous people in the world. I'm, I'm going to explain this. Hey, does, is it hard to work out? Yeah. Okay. Can you tell the people that are doing it right? And then can you tell the people that are doing it wrong? Okay. Because just because you got a gym pass don't mean you're getting in shape. Okay. Listen guys, I like results. I like results. Everything that I do, I hire a good coach to train me. Everything that's important to me, I hire a good coach to train me. There's a certain point in your life in which you're gonna hit a, a, a sticking point, you're gonna need somebody to help push you through, okay? That's what my goal is to help do with you today, is to get your mind back to being plugged into growing, okay? Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.